Hey guys, welcome to today's reading. I hope you're all doing great and I hope that you are having a fantastic September and that you're being very productive. And yeah, let's get into this. Today's reading is going to be for Divine Soulmates or Twin Flames. We're going to be looking into the masculine's energy, the feminine's energy, as well as what might be coming up. And it is general, so as always, it's not going to be everybody's situation, so do keep that in mind. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Um, I just want to thank everybody again for all of your comments and all of your support. And a big thank you to those of you who have been doing the cord cutting sessions. Um, I just feel like those are like the best, because I just feel like, you know, we just we're doing something that is so significant and is so powerful in terms of healing um, and it gives me the opportunity to be a part of that so thank you thank you thank you all right so let's get into this let's see for the masculines what is going on what is happening what is their energy currently Okay, we have action. So we're tapping into a masculine here who is wanting to take action or who is taking action. Let's get a couple more. All right, we have listening and I just want to get a few more from here. Ooh, okay, so they're listening I'm getting to their intuition, basically, to the universe, to spirit, telling them to take some action. So they're listening to this. Um, they may or may not be taking this action just yet, but they're definitely listening to that. Like, they're, they're hearing that. Um, I'm actually getting that they're hearing certain words that are very symbolic to them and that could even be creeping them out. And it's interesting that we got that because I actually um, <laughs> encountered that, all right? I actually encountered a situation like that um, with a masculine. So, okay, where it was literally just hearing something um, being spoken from his five-year-old daughter, which was just like, like, like she went into a trance and then she said something to him and it was like, wow, like what the hell? And then, you know, she snapped out of it and just continued playing or doing whatever it is that she was doing. Um, okay, so that's what I feel is happening here. So it's interesting that this came through. Um, so I feel like it is happening for um, a lot of the masculines in the collective. So we also have deception, regret, and recognition. Okay, wow. So they are recognizing and regretting a deception here. A deception that they have committed, basically, towards their feminine. So really being aware of that. Um, I feel like, again, they're getting signs about this. They're just, like, hearing things. It could even be on the radio, um, just, like, a specific song or, you know, the DJ just saying something that really triggers them and they feel like that was meant for them to hear. And I feel like, you know, they're recognizing this. Okay. So, let's see. Let's get into some tarot here. So I'm just going to pull three from the top for their general energy. Just anything that wants to come through, anything else that wants to come through here. All right, and we have the Knight of Swords, Justice, and the Hierophant in reverse. Ooh, all right, so definitely feeling like there's action here, all right, with this Knight of Swords. Action towards justice, towards making some kind of a decision or wanting to make a decision which will bring justice, trying to make something right, wanting to move in the right direction. Um, with the Hierophant being in reverse, though, I'm getting that for a lot of them, especially in this group that I'm tapping into today, this decision, this action has to do with pretty much bringing down 
um, something that has been very consistent in their lives. So it's going to be different for each of them. For some of them, this could definitely be a marriage, all right, especially having justice and the Hierophant. For others of them, it could be a career. And for others, it could be a tradition, um, you know, strongly rooted beliefs, cultural norms, things like that. So this masculine is very much aware that they need to make a decision here, a big one, in terms of that. This could even talk about, you know, breaking certain contracts, breaking certain rules, um, breaking out of the norm. Um, maybe, you know, maybe the connection with the feminine is um, something that goes against their tradition or against their norm. So I am seeing some action here. They're very action oriented. Let's put it that way. So let's see their energy towards their feminine specifically. What is their energy towards their feminine currently? The page of cups, the queen of wands and the ace of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so there's a lot of um, emotions here. I feel like the masculine is actually feeling very apologetic. And this is definitely very much in line with the regret for the deception. Um, the feminine is showing up here as this queen of wands, right? So they're seeing you as being very, very desirable to them, um, holding you in a very high regard. And so I feel like they're feeling very little in front of you. But at the same time, right, with the Ace of Pentacles being in reverse, I'm seeing that, you know, it's also that, you know, they're not, they're not there just quite yet in terms of completing that action. With the Knight of Swords, it's yes, it's very action oriented. It's like the, that energy is there and that energy is pushing them. That energy is driving them. But they haven't yet gotten like on that path where they are approaching the feminine in this way okay but the energy is definitely there and they're we've been getting this for a while they're being pushed by the universe big time and i feel like this has been happening for like at least a month i want to say let's see what's going on in their headspace I'm even getting here that the masculine is feeling apologetic for having kept this path closed. So let's see, for there, I'm just gonna need to move these up a little bit to make sure that they fit in the camera view. Yeah, because we will get one more row. Okay, so eight of pentacles in reverse, the 10 of swords and the five of cups. Ooh, okay, this is a lot of painful energy to be in their headspace. Um, they're having a hard time focusing here. So they're feeling the drive, they're feeling the energy, they know that they need to make this decision to bring down whatever, whatever that hierophant is, okay, for each of them. Um, but I feel like they're having a hard time actually focusing it's almost like they just don't know exactly where to start or what what is the next step and because of that that's actually like driving them crazy it's it's very painful it's very painful what they're going through right now um because they're it's like <laughs> It's like knowing, knowing what you need to do, but then not knowing how to do it or not knowing if you have the strength to do it. So that is uh, creating a lot of anguish here for them. Um, feeling a very, very painful kind of an energy here, even in their headspace. Again, uh, feeling a lot of regret at the same time and thinking about this. Um, it's, it's so interesting because it's like, yeah, they're getting the signs everywhere, right? So they're like, all right, you know, this is what I got to do. It's like everywhere. Why the hell am I being so resistant? And I get that this masculine is also like has a tendency to focus on the negatives rather than on the positives. So focusing on the negatives of what's, you know, to come or, you know, what a consequence might be or what might happen or 
um, if I move in this direction, or just like dwelling in, in the past. And kind of like, you know, oh, I already messed things up and things are already shitty right now. You know, it, it's kind of like that, that kind of a mentality. So I feel like that is something that is serving as a blockage. That is something that holds them back. But that energy to push them forward, it's definitely here, big time. I mean, we had action as the first oracle card, and then we have the knight of swords as the first tarot card. Yeah. So let's see what's going on with them emotionally. Even though we already got that, we have the queen of cups in reverse. We have the knight of of pentacles in reverse and we have the nine of cups in reverse i am not surprised i'm not surprised because like i said they're going through a hard time and i think that that had something like this had shown up in a recent um reading that it was going to be the near future energy and i feel like yeah here it is um showing up right now so yeah emotionally they're feeling all over the place um Almost like they're out of touch with their intuition, which is interesting because they're not. Like they're actually picking up on all of the signals and all of the signs. But because they haven't acted on them just yet, even though they're feeling that drive, they feel like they're out of out of touch with their own intuition here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But definitely a lot of um, sulking here, feeling a lot of pain. For some of them, they feel like this might be the end with the feminine um, because of their not having taken this action yet and knowing that this is something that they need to take. And I feel like because they're feeling so much pressure um, to take action, like soon, almost like there's this restlessness, like feeling like, well, you know, since I'm being so rushed, maybe I won't even make it in time. Because, like, to them it feels like, okay, you got to do it now. And they're like, well, well, if I have to do it now, well, what if I can't do it now? Well, then that means that it's, you know, that then I've lost my chance. So, almost like giving up um, prematurely just because of the anxiety. That's kind of how it feels, but that leaves them with the sense of feeling like, yeah, but then what? I'm not going to get what I want. Like, I'm not going to be happy. I'm not going to be fulfilled. So it's like chaos. So that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot that they're going through. I feel like there's a lot that's happening right now in their, in their headspace. And of course, that's affecting their emotions. Um, but it's mostly these thoughts. Because that Ten of Swords and that Five of Cups, it's in their headspace, not in their emotions. It's in their headspace. So, yeah, it's like thinking about the worst case scenario, thinking about thinking that they're doomed. And because of that, like not knowing if they have what it takes because they're, they're feeling like the universe or that the situation is just um, very pressing at the time. And I mean, this could be for a number of reasons, depending on everybody's specific situation okay so yeah let's leave that there let's move on to the feminines i actually don't even feel like we need to clarify anything i feel like it was very straightforward to the point so let's see what is going on with the feminines We have journey and anxiety. Okay, so you're <laughs> you're kind of mirroring the masculines. Um, I feel like you know you're you're trying to think, well, or trying to think or thinking that this is something you have to walk away from, or you are walking away from this. Some of you might literally be like moving <laughs> um, to even get away from this, like literally, and. The thought of that is creating anxiety for you. So it's interesting because I feel like, I feel like there's so much mirroring here. Like there's so much that is in common because I feel like you're also getting signs. Just like the masculine is getting signs, you're getting signs to walk away, to, to leave this behind you. 
And then the thought of doing that creates anxiety in you. In just like I said with the masculine, you know, the, their thought of, okay, I need to take action, I need to make this decision, that creates anxiety for them. So it's pretty much the same thing, but just for um, a different, for a different action. Um, okay, what? That, okay, yeah, this one. All right, let's see what else. For the feminines. We have purity. That's interesting. Let me just get the rest of them. Nostalgia, mute, and understanding. All right. Okay, so there's a lot here, um, actually, for the feminines. Number one, um, this purity is all about you having, I feel like you have released resentment or you are releasing resentment. If you still have resentment, then this is a message for you, you know, to try to release that as much as you can, okay? Um, forgiving somebody doesn't mean that you accept their behavior, okay? It just means that you forgive them and that you release any kind of resentment, okay? So that's what I'm getting here with that purity, purity card. And I do feel like, you know, through this connection, you've actually learned how to get in touch with the pureness of your own soul and to just see the purity just of this connection, no matter what it is that has happened, which is not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, and it's not an easy concept to grasp either, I think. Um, okay, so with this bottom row here, the feminines, yeah, you know, you're... There's nostalgia here. You you have nostalgia for the masculine, which is only natural. However, it's like you're you're coming into this like deeper understanding of that and that it's okay. I feel like it's like this acceptance of that. And not only of that, but also of a dis like a disconnection and it's not really a disconnection with the mute card um, this could definitely be like a specific message for those of you who are not in contact right um, having that nostalgia but then also having an understanding of why you are in separation okay so don't take it too literally some of you are in contact okay I feel like the mute is just really representing like the separation that you are not like together as a romantic couple so there's a, there's a deeper understanding here about the connection. And not only that, I feel like there's a deeper understanding of the fact that you are in one way or another, always connected. Like what this connection is, it will always be. Even if you walk away, it will always be what it is. It doesn't change. I feel like for a lot of the feminines, you know, you're, it's like you're getting a glimpse of what life could be like even without the masculine and feeling like, yeah, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to be fine. And there's always, you know, it's like feeling like there's a plan B lined up for you. Um, even if you do end up with your, with your masculine, you know, it's like just feeling like, yeah, you know what? There is a plan B. It's all good. So that's what I'm getting for the feminines here. Let's get a couple of tarot cards. <laughs> what are the chances of that? <laughs> Very first card out for the feminines is the exact same card that we had first card out for the masculines. Knight of Swords, upright. All right, justice. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, what are the chances of that? The second card out for the feminines is the exact same card we had out for the masculines. Second card, justice. All right, and the third card, yeah, I mean, that would be crazy if we also got the Hierophant in reverse. And I didn't think we would anyway, because for the feminines, it's not so much releasing traditions, beliefs, um, or things like that. It definitely can be, I'm not saying it's never the case, just not usually. Um, okay, so the last card here for the feminines is the Empress. You're, just like I said, you know, there's this mirroring. You're making a decision too. You're feeling that push too. You're feeling that drive too to make a decision. And whatever that decision is for you, for some of you, it could literally be moving or taking some kind of a trip or just putting yourself on a new journey, like on some kind of a journey, whatever that might be for you. Um, maybe it's walking away from this and just being like, you know what, I'm just going to leave it there in the past and whatever happens, happens. I'm just not going to deal with it anymore. Whatever that is for you, right? Um, it's representing your inner empress. This is you stepping into your divine feminine energy and power. So trust that. Trust whatever it is that you are feeling guided to do and whatever decisions it is that you are feeling guided to make. So, um, yeah, we'll just get one more row. One more row for the feminines. Um, I don't particularly care to look at your energy in the way that I look into the masculines because I feel like, you know, you already know your energy towards the masculine and what you're thinking and feeling. So, um, we'll just get one more row for anything that wants to come through for you. And then we'll see what is coming up for the masculines. Okay, so Three of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Star in Reverse. Okay, so I feel like this is the message for the feminines here. You know, um, I feel like you have been through a lot of heartbreak, right? Um, this is a given. We already know that. There is a lot of heartbreak in this kind of a connection. That is a given. So we should just take this, take the pain, take this heartbreak as a given. Like that is what is meant to happen in this connection, all right? In the past, it doesn't mean that it's always going to be this way. It's not always going to be this way. It's not. And I feel like um, for most of you that this is resonating with, I feel like you, like, the hardest part is already in your past and that's why you are in the process now of making this decision and stepping into your empress energy it's like you're this queen of swords like having found it's like through this pain that is how you find that inner empress that is how you find your own integrity the self-integrity what you deserve and what you are worth realizing, you know, what it is that you tolerate and what it is that you don't tolerate. So this is a lot of self-knowledge. And all of that comes from the pain that you have been through and feeling like you've lost hope for something. So when you feel like you're losing hope for this, that's actually a part of the detachment. Right, Queen of Swords is also about being detached. So you are detaching from that. You are detaching from the pain, from the connection, just from having attachments. Because you are independent and you are this empress. And this, can, sometimes it can only come when you've lost hope. And so if things are happening to make you feel like there's no hope here and that creates pain, it's... It's okay. That is part of the process to getting you to this Queen of Swords and the Empress. And then, you know, anything can follow that. But it's like this needs to happen first. So that's the message here that I'm getting for those of you that this reading might resonate for. Okay? So just take what resonates. Um, if something doesn't, you know, then maybe it's just not, that message might not be for you. Um, and that's perfectly okay. Either way, I see you just really moving towards being empowered. 
creating, feeling abundant, being independent, all of these things. So let's see, what is coming up in the next week or so for the masculine energy? Okay, I just dropped three cards, so I will take them. Two of Wands in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. The masculine is wanting to come out of this. How how can I call that? That <laughs> feeling that push, but then not acting on it. So it's kind of like this like contradictory thing that they're going through where like they're seeing the signs everywhere, like they know that that's what they need to do, but because they haven't already done it, like it's creating anxiety. All of that. They want to come out of that. Again, I see them not being so sure of themselves, but they're beginning to put in some kind of an effort. They're like, all right, let me start somewhere. Now, for others of you, I'm also getting that this might be some kind of an interaction um, where there might be some kind of a collaboration. Um, it really depends. Some of them might reach out for assistance with something, or they might use that as an excuse. And then for others of you, if you are in contact with this, this could be that you you work together on something. Either way, they're putting in some kind of an effort here to kind of reach you in some way. And when I say reach you, yes, that could be in the physical, but it could also be like energetically, right? To get closer to you, to take that step. So that's definitely showing up here with this three of three of pentacles because I feel like they just cannot stand this like procrastination, this being at a like at a crossroads or like <laughs> almost like standing at the edge and just like not taking that that step. And it's like right there. So yeah, that's that's what I'm getting here. I feel like this is coming up in the next week or two. So let's see, let's get couple of oracle cards to close this out. All right, we have Y. Let me get one more. <laughs> Come to the edge. Oh, okay, interesting. This is literally like I just said this phrase, right? Um, like they're right at the edge. They're being pushed to, to come to the edge. And I do feel like, yeah, they're questioning it. Um, they're questioning it. Thinking a lot about it. Wanting to see, okay, how can I come to the edge? How can I come to the edge? But I'm also getting that this is a message for the feminines as well. Um, and it's saying, you know what? Don't ask too many questions. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition and move in the direction that you are feeling guided to move in. For you to also come to that edge and take that risk. Because, you, I mean, look at this mirroring. So by you doing this, it might also help your masculine do that. But then if that is your intention, then you're not really doing it for you. So then it will kind of cancel out. So yeah, you just have to make sure that you're doing it with the intention for your own self. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I know it was a little quicker this time around. Um, that's okay. I had, I had so much to catch up on this week because I took a trip last week. Um, so all the personal readings and the cord cuttings were all like crammed in this one week. Um, so yeah, next week we'll have a longer reading and yeah, that is it. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated, leave me a comment and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.